Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to create a model class. So in this lecture we're going to create a model class representing a meeting for our meeting planner. But first we need to create uh, a Django app and we group related components into apps. Uh, the first app we created contained a simple text. So first off I'm going to close the server and in here I'm going to say python uh, manage.py we know how we can create an app and uh, we basically say start app and then we provide the name of the app and I'm just going to name it meetings there is not going to be any result but in here you can see that we have the meetings folder added so within the meetings folder we have a bunch of stuff which I'm going to zoom in so we can talk about them more now, uh, before I actually talk about, about this, uh, this more, we need to add our installed app to, the, to this list. So I'm just going to say the name of the app is Meetings. There we go. So basically, we just need to add it. Now, within the Meetings app, we have the Migrations folder, which contains all our migrations. The init.py basically signifies that this meeting is a Python is an authentic Python package. The admin is for configuring the admin interface. The apps.py is used for advanced app configuration. Therefore, I'm going to delete it. Then we have the models.py, which holds our models. Then we have our tests.py, uh, which is used for writing unit tests, which is way beyond the scope of this course. I'm going to delete it. And then we have our views, views.py, which contains all the view functions that we are going to write. Now, I'm going to open the models.py within this meetings. First, take a look at the within the migrations. So the first step, uh, the, uh, like initially, if we take a look at the migrations, we just have in it, just to say that it is a Python package. We don't have any script for migrations, right? We are going to end up with scripts, so don't worry about it. So first off, go ahead and open the models.py within the meetings app. And in here, uh, what I would like to do is I would like to go ahead and create a meeting uh, model. So the way that we can create a meeting model is that basically you're going to create a class. And we have thoroughly talked about object-oriented in uh, programming in Python. So I'm just going to say meeting and I'm going to pass in models.model in here as well. So I'm going to say models.model. Now this models, it comes from this import and the model class comes as an attribute as a, or as a property of this models. Now all models in Django need to inherit from the base models. This makes this model an official now, whenever you add models dot model, it means that this model that we are creating, this model class, is an official Django model. And it also means that it will represent a table in the database that holds meetings. So this is our model class. This is the first one. And next, I would like to add two variables. Now, when this meeting represents a table in our database, what do these variables represent? They represent columns in our table. So the first column is going to be the title of the meeting. So I'm going to grab the models and I'm going to say it is a character field, therefore char field, because it's title, so it is a character field. And I'm going to give it a max length of 200. So the title of any meeting has a maximum length of 200 characters it is a character field char field character field and the second field and final one that i'm going to add in here is a date field and i'm going to say uh, models okay uh, models dot date field and let's just pass it in here and i'm not going to provide any constraints for this one and you know that this, this max length is actually a constraint that we add to a table in a to a, col to a columns table. So let's save our changes. Now, 
that this is going to be it for this lecture in the next lecture we are going to create and run uh, migrations so we are going to pick up where we left off exactly from here in our next lecture i just want to give you uh, bit by bit or byte by byte just so you can really understand what is happening so we created a model we need to uh, apply migration so we do have um, corresponding database tables as well so see you in the next lecture